the numbers are pretty staggering. In 2015, nearly 92 million American adults used prescription opioids. That's nearly a third of all adults. According to the CDC, despite declines since 2010, the amount of opioids prescribed per person was three times higher in 2015 than in 1999. But the numbers vary across the country and the state of Vermont. This map shows Vermont's southern and northwest counties saw high levels of opioids prescribed per person. And with over 11 million Americans reporting to have misused opioids, the country's opioid commission wants the president to declare a state of emergency. So the first recommendation we say to the president is you must declare a national emergency, a public health emergency that will empower your cabinet and executive branch and motivate the congressional folks to be able to fund this and to get on top of it because we have a, a crisis. While the details of that declaration are still being worked out, Vermont's governor has a few ideas. Coordinating uh, with other states is always important, uh, trying to coordinate with the uh, federal government. But if there were more funding, obviously we think we could do a little bit more with the uh, treatment and recovery. Data shows nearly two million Americans say they're addicted to opioids. Supporters for the declaration say acknowledging the severity of the crisis that kills 91 Americans a day and more than 100 Vermonters last year is the first step towards slowing its growth. Rachel Cars, NBC5 News.